Got him. Got him. Oh my goodness. That was cool. Oh, just a beautiful fish. Just a beautiful fish. Holy cow. Holy cow. What's going on y'all and welcome to the Uncut series here on the channel. I've just got to tell you guys up front, this video contains the best smallmouth bass fishing day of my entire life. New personal bass were caught, underwater footage of multiple types was filmed, and it is big bass after big bass after big bass you're not gonna wanna go anywhere. I love this series called Uncut because the cameras are rolling and I'm teaching you guys everything I learned along the way and sometimes we have amazing fishing days like the one you're about to witness. Without further ado, let's jump in. Well, what's going on folks? Welcome back to Uncut. This is one of my favorite places on the planet to catch fish and it is the St. Lawrence River here in upstate New York. I'm on the border of Canada and New York and the smallies are biting. They're on beds. They are, uh, they're really easy to catch right now. And so I'm hoping in this uncut over the next hour, uh, I can show you guys a pretty unconventional way to catch bass you've never seen before. Uh, of course, we're going to try to catch these fish and get them back on their beds as soon as possible. But it's just, this is an awesome place. So stay tuned. If you like it, subscribe and welcome to uncut. Yeah. Dang. My shoe came off. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, that might be a six pounder. Good grief. <laughs> Look at that beautiful fish right there. Absolutely gorgeous. What an absolute chunk. I might go six pounds. Strike King Z2, baby Z2, threaded. And what a beautiful, beautiful bass. What a beautiful, beautiful bass. Oh my gosh. Top of the mouth, dead center, wasn't coming off. See how heavy you are. 641. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous 6.4 pounder. Let's go. So basically I'm on a, I'm on a big, I'll take a drone shot here. Um, of this island that I'm on and I'm just trolling around in 18 to 12 feet of water looking for white spots that's what a smallmouth's bed looks like but it's, it's not just a white spot you'll see here on on a b-roll shot it is also a, it's, a, it's a white outside with black little uh, shells or or little pebbles in the middle so the smallmouth when they make their beds they they fan their tail and get rid of the the sand and the, the moss and snot and then make their bed with these pebbles. So it's kind of like a white ring with a, a black inside. And so this place right here is just chock full of three to six pound smallmouth bass and they're gorgeous. And on this spot right now, I just pulled up, I just caught two back to back, both on the, on the first flip. Drop it down there, look through the flogger here. We'll show you guys, uh, like I said, I showed you a view through this a second ago. Look through the flogger first flip got these fish so i'm a little bit deep right now i just want to see if i can find like a six pounder for you guys to start it's just my this is my favorite honestly my favorite place to catch a bass there's good large mouth in the bays around here but for this uncut we are just doing some small mouth action so put this on as you you do some laundry or do the dishes what do we got here huh what do we got here we got a bass all right so there's a bass right there. I'm gonna put the boat in reverse, reverse. And then in order to see better, I take off my sunglasses because we got kind of a weird, weird glare right here. I'm gonna back up the boat, get my bait ready to go. I'll show you guys my bait here in a second. When I catch this fish, drop my bait down there, engage my spool, and usually, especially fish that are this deep on 18 feet of water right now, I think. Usually they come and nail it first cast. So I'm shaking it down there, shaking it, shaking it, shaking it. Fish is getting, 
interested, just ate it. All right. <laughs> and that right there is awesome. That right there is so stinking cool. Oh, and they're just, they're strong and they're beautiful. Oh my goodness. Just my absolute favorite way to, uh, to catch a bass right now. Oh, come on, come on up here, buddy. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Get your mouth in here. Get your mouth. Thank you. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful first fish of the day right there. Three and a half, four pounder on the Strike King Z2. Got him right in the mouth. He's got some pretty lipstick. He's got some pretty, pretty black lipstick. All right. Thank you, friend. Not worth weighing. He's not big enough to weigh. We're only going to weigh ones that are that are straight bigs. I'm talking four and a half, five, and bigger. Gonna fix my bait here. Make sure when I pull the drop shot, it sits relatively straight. These fish have a tendency of messing up the Z2. Great. And just like that, our first fish of the uncut. Let me make sure that the uh, screen is clear. Yep, we're clear. I'm gonna move this camera back. And let's keep going. Keep it going. All right, just caught that one. Let's keep on moving here. I've always got my mapping up as well. I've got live scope on, but I'm not even I'm not even using it. I've got mapping on just so I can tell where I've been. And I think I see one right here that I probably don't even need to flog. Like that's how calm it is right now. Holy cow, it's so calm. Yep, we have dropped down there. And he ate it. First flip. First flip. That one's a little bit a little bit smaller. Holy cow, there's so many, there's so many beds around here. There's another one right there. I think it's a big one. Oh my gosh, you know what? That's that is a big fish. Holy cow, the more that I the more that I look at it, gosh. I'm gonna angle my camera down a little more so y'all can see. Good grief, that actually is a big one. Get up in here, yes sir. Yes, sir. Oh my gosh. That's a four. That's a four. Got him on the thread, top dead center of the mouth. Thank you, buddy. Okay, cool. And yeah, if it's if it's calm like this, not a lick of wind out here, you don't even need the flogger. Come on. Guess I need pliers. This guy got hooked real good, right in the nose. And I don't know if this video will come out before or after my drop shot uncut, but I explain every drop shot method in that video. Let's see, buddy. So if you haven't seen that, it'll it'll be out eventually. And I'll also link it in the video description when it is out. Okay, so I just caught one right there. Great. Where was the next one? Where was that next one? And the fish is, fish is already back down there. For all the folks who are like, oh, never bed fish because it pulls them off their bed and they never go back. I literally, literally just saw that fish right back on his bed. Here's another one. Can we go one flippers for every fish in this uncut? Oh, there might not be a fish on this one. Not every bed has a fish. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check if there is. Oh, I don't see one. Okay. So that doesn't that doesn't count. That 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 flip does not count because there wasn't actually a fish there. <laughs> wasn't actually a fish. Let's keep on looking. I want to get a six pounder for y'all. That's my my goal is to catch a big old six. Big old juicy six pounder. I would like a juicy six. Having a good pair of polarized sunglasses is absolutely crucial for this. You're gonna have a really hard time seeing beds on small mouth, large mouth spots, whatever. If you're, if you're going down the bank springtime looking for bed fish, you're gonna have a really hard time finding them if you ain't got good polarized sunglasses. So I'm kind of doing a loop around the deep water right here seeing how many I see. And it's kind of interesting. They, they kind of they kind of bed in, in clumps. So like there's a lot of good sand right here, sand and rock, but there's no beds. It's like they're they're bedding in certain little clumpy areas. Is that a walleye? Holy cow. That's a big walleye. Let's see if I can catch him. I doubt it. Walleye are, walleye are really hard to catch. 
if you're not like out deep. It's a big walleye though. Big old wally. It's almost like these big walleye up shallow are like literally just vegetating, just chilling. But I would love to catch you because you're so big. That'd be good to give the fans some variety. Could be a pike as well, but I think it's a walleye. I'm gonna drop it right on him if I can. He don't want it. Yep, yep. <laughs> he spooked. Okay, so now we're in shallower water. And y'all are gonna see a drone shot of, of this water depth here. I mean, yeah, there's, there ain't no need for a flogger here. Flip down on what I think is a bed, but again, I don't, I don't see a fish. So that doesn't count. Here we go. Let's keep going here. Into some shallow water. Into the sea. There's a, there's a little guy right here, but he spooked off his bed, so I'm not feeling him. But there's an area over here that looks juicy. Could be a bed. Oh my gosh, it's just, it's so gorgeous. I can't even like, this, this video y'all are watching does not do justice how beautiful this place is. So it's just, the water is the clearest you've ever seen. The bass are big. Okay, here's a, here's a bass. I see him. I see him. Oh, oh, that's a thick one. That's a thick one. I flipped it down there. I'm shaking it. Oh, got a little bit of a backlash as I tried to spin around. That's a thick one. Shake, 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 shake. Shake, 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 shake. All right. That was not a one flipper. So, bummer, bummer. But I think he'll be a two flipper. I think he'll be a two flipper. Because the current, the current does some funny things when you're out here. Holy cow. That's, I think that's a six pounder. Y'all, that's a big one. This might, be a, this might be a six. This might be a six. It's a big one. Not hanging in the bed yet. Gotta get my lure in there. Oh yeah, he's looking at it. He's looking at it. And he ate, oh, he ate and he missed. He ate and he missed. And my bait's all messed up. Okay, let's fix my bait here. Again, I'm threading my drop shot. I found that it's the best hookup ratio for little shad shaped baits if you are not um, fishing around snags. And since I'm just kind of open water fishing here, a thread is the best way to go. Where did he go? There he is. He'll eat again. If he ate the first the first time I really got in his face, he'll eat again. Okay, he's gonna eat. You know what, folks? I'm gonna get the uh, I'm gonna get an angle on in the flogger for y'all. This is gonna be cool. This is gonna be so stinking cool. He's a big one. Make sure my cameras are cleaned off. Let's stick the GoPro in the flogger. Hope it focuses on the bed and not on the glass we got to figure this out i may do a a cut here oh there we go oh yes oh my goodness y'all y'all ready for this? this is gonna be so stinking cool this is gonna be so stinking cool oh i'm right in the dead center of the bed y'all can see my bait shaking right there yeah there it's shaking fish is on the outside y'all see his head there on the top of your screen there he is he's coming in He's coming in and he, oh, ho, ho, he nipped at it and didn't eat it. So I did not set the hook there. Come on, come into the bed and eat it, buddy. Just giving it some shakes. Just shaking, 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 shaking. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Shake, 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 shake. Oh gosh, dang it. It is hard to set the hook. With one hand. I also don't like the position of the hook. Thread came undone a little bit. 
it's getting it upside down here. Uh oh, <clears throat> the current moved the flogger. I promise y'all when this fish eats and gets it, you're gonna see a real big one. Maybe a bigger small mouth than any of you guys have seen in your lives. Okay, let's drop it down. There goes my bait. Let's move it a little more into the bed. Great. We are on the right side there. Here he comes. He's coming in. Oh gosh. Dang it. Oh, that's way clearer now. Y'all can see everything now. Oh, heck yeah. There he is. Oh, oh, dang it. He ate it and then missed it. Had to clean off the flogger real quick. Because y'all were getting some water on the lens. And I'm also going to switch to the Baby Z2 on a spinning rod. It's a lot easier to, uh, to hook them when you're vlogging by yourself on a spinning rod. So, that's what I'm gonna do. Oh no. As long as you don't get your line tangled on the tip. Now he's coming in. He's coming in. He's not getting off this time. No. Oh. Gosh, I'm dumb. Gosh, I'm dumb. <sighs> All right, it's it's way too hard to get the bite on the flogger while I try to look. Oh, never mind. Here he is. There he is. There he is. I was gonna say it's too hard, but there he is. There he is. There he is. Eat it. Oh my goodness, he was gone, and now he's back. I was gonna say. <clears throat> I was gonna say I gotta wait for him to come back, and then I'll just catch him regular. But he's there, and he, oh my gosh, dang it. He's still there though, he's still there. He's still, I just gotta get him right when he eats it. Got him, got him, yes sir, yes sir. Oh my gosh, what a big one, what a big one. Holy cow, holy cow, that fish is big. Wow, wow, yes, determination, got him right there baby, holy cow. That's a six pounder, I think. That's a six, I think. Is the camera going? Yes, it is. The camera's going. Holy cow. This fish might be a six. This fish might be a six. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Come on. Yes, sir. Oh my gosh. That's, if that's, if that's not a six, that's close to it. Oh my goodness, top of the mouth. Baby Z2. I had to get him right as he was biting. Or a she, I'm assuming it's a she. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. Spent a little bit of time on that fish. I think I had a few cuts there just because trying to get it on the phone in the flogger was almost impossible. But that right there, folks, is an absolutely gorgeous New York smallmouth. I'm going to get a weight real quick. Get her back down there. She wasn't protecting the nest real good, though, so I don't think she had laid eggs. Otherwise, she'd be protecting it from the gobies because she was not really consistently in there. Fish weighs 6.17. Six-pounder, baby. Let's go. It's actually my second six-pounder of the day. I caught one earlier today at a different spot. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Let's go. Thank you, big girl, for playing. Let you get your energy back a little bit. See ya. I usually say wouldn't want to be ya, but I do. That's a beautiful fish. Oh my goodness, folks. That's fun. I mean, if you don't like that, then you don't like bass fishing. Holy cow. Okay, pause the clip and keep going. Definitely necessitates a water break. Mm. 
<clears throat> Let's get our sunglasses back on and get to flogging. The, uh, the Baby Z2 definitely catches them. Again, both of these are threaded. It catches them when they're spitting it, sucking it in, spitting it out really quick. You can, uh, you can hook them faster than you can with a baitcaster, at least in my opinion. Gonna have to get a new one though, but that threading hook right there, I started using a VMC, I forgot the exact, the exact name of this hook, but I'll leave it linked below. It's so good. I'm not talking just for bed fishing either. I mean like for all drop shotting around rock, open water, flats type deals. It's the juice. All right, I see another fish way up there. Flip down to it. I don't even know if I landed on it, but we'll see. All right, I don't see a fish. Sorry, I see a bed. Not sure if a fish is there. It's an absolutely gorgeous bed though. Like there's, there's gotta be a fish using it. No? Wow. That must have been a recently fresh one. Freshly left, I mean. Freshly abandoned. Is there a fish on this one? There is. There is a fish on this one, I think. Yeah. Can't tell how big he is though. Oh, I was wrong. I was wrong. There's not. Not a fish. Not a one. Oh my goodness. Just beautiful water. Mm. I just get excited looking around. Not even having a bedfish, just looking at this place. Dropping down on a bed, is there a fish on it? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, there's one over there. I mean, this, this, the fact that I'm being like, oh, there's one, there's one, there's one. Even if they're not all occupied, just goes to show you the sheer number of bass in this place. Like if you've not been to the St. Lawrence River before, during the spawn or not, I mean, just the amount of fish you can catch, it's bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. I'm seeing a lot of empty beds. Oh, there's one. There's one, he's not empty. And he should be a one flipper, if I had to guess. If I had to guess, he's a one flipper. He's spinning around, shaking it. Oh yeah, he's gonna be a one flipper. Come on, eat it. Got him, <clears throat> told y'all. Ooh, a dark one, we got a dark one. That's pretty, that's awesome. Super pretty, super pretty fish. I'm gonna come down here to land one. Why don't we? This is awesome. This is awesome. Come on up here, buddy. Come on up here. I'll do the old scoop for y'all. The old smallie scoop. Oh, if he doesn't jump right into my engine. Beautiful, beautiful. Sorry, buddy. Gave you a concussion there, probably. Smallie scoop. Oh, hey. Come on. You're not supposed to jump when you give him the scoop. That right there. Beautiful three and a half pound smallie scoop. Thank you, my friend. Z2, roof of the mouth. Oh my goodness. That was awesome. Especially when you see, when you can see a fish and he doesn't leave, that's usually a sign of a one flipper. Beautiful. Thank you, friend. See ya. All right, I gotta do some lighting adjustments here. I think it's getting a little bit bright, so I'm gonna darken that by one. And uh, let's keep going. For now we're on top of a big, big shoal here, the point of this area. Oh, and there's one. There's a bass. Can't tell if he's big or just like his buddies. What I can tell is that this bait though is messed up. So I'm going to put this down for a second. And I'll catch him on a, I'm gonna catch him on a jig. See if he'll, see if he'll bite the old jig. It's, it's hard to get a good hookup ratio on smallies on a jig. Oh, he's gonna eat it. He's gonna eat it. Got him. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That was pretty, 
That was pretty. That was cool. That was cool. Big one. Not like a six, but another nice one. Get up in here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, 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 hey. Let's not do that. <laughs> Look at that jig. In the mouth. Outcast tackle. Stealth fighter jig. In the mouth. Here, man. His mouth's not very big, but he can eat it. Beautiful three and a half. Almost four. This is just unreal, y'all. I, I mean, I'm going to be honest. I don't think I've ever had even smallmouth fed fishing up here like this. This is bananas. This is bananas. It's so calm. We even got some sun poking through the clouds. I mean, it's about to get even easier than it already is. Man, I don't want to keep jacking them on a jig. You do that once, you get addicted. Do that once and you get addicted. Is there a fish down there? Oh yeah, there's one. There's one. And where's he at? Hmm. This guy is not nearly as aggressive. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to jack him on the jig. And I really don't want to foul hook him. That's the problem with the, the jig and your sight fishing is that the jig disappears and you think he ate it. Just got to wait for a thump. To see, he, he ate it. He ate it and spit it back out real quick. The drop shot, if it's, I mean, it's a white bait, I can see immediately when he eats it. And I know it's gone. Yeah, I'm not going to risk it. I don't want to, I don't want to foul hook one. Um, let's see what else. I got baby Z2. Nope, all my Z2s. All right, I got a, I got a circle hooked dream shot. And after, after this bait here, if I lose this one, we are, uh, we are out of baits. I got to re-rig. <laughs> all right, dropping it down. Drags a little bit. Loops are good. Shake, shake, shake. Here he comes. Got him. There we go. Just had to get him with the, had to get him with the dream shot. Oh my gosh, wait, hold up. Oh, I thought I, I totally thought I had him by the, the weight, but I don't. The, the bait just slid up the line. Oh my goodness. Oh, I lost my weight. Ah, okay. Okay, that's what it was. I lost my weight. Hey, 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 hey. Oh gosh, their mouths are so small. They got little winky dink mouths. That's why they're called the small mouth, I guess. That's why they're called the small mouth. Oh, it's so hard to land them. Gosh dang it. Oh my goodness. Get my in your hand. Oh my gosh. Oh, got him. Oh, not a big one. Not even worth showing to the camera. Circle hook in the mouth. See if I do. Okay, we are all out of a drop shot weight on this one. And we're out of baits on those. So I'm just gonna go ahead and rig this one. I'm not a big fan of the circle hook anyways. If y'all have watched that drop shot masterclass, you know, not a big circle hook guy. Let's go ahead, get us a new baby Z2. Baby Z2. And man, I'm starting to get, I'm starting to get hot. Like I thought, I thought it was gonna rain on me and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna try to film an uncut as soon as I, as quick as I can. Oh, hey, one thing. Since we're here, since we got you guys here, one of my sponsors that I've been using for a few years as I, as I run is Blue Storm. They make life jackets. They make some of the best ones out there. They make, of course, ones that don't inflate automatically, and they have the auto-inflatable ones with the CO2 cartridge. These things are really good. Uh, they're Coast Guard approved. You can wear them on your kayak, on your boat. You can, they actually count as a life jacket in your boat, even if you don't have them on. And it lasts for a long time, and it only inflates if they are totally submerged. So I could just throw this in the water. If it floats there, it's not gonna, unless this thing submerges, it's not gonna blow up in your, in your rod locker. So if you could support Blue Storm, they got some awesome colors. They have some cool camos with cryptic coming out. It's a really cool company, and I got a discount code for y'all. I believe the discount code is TRF or TRF10. And that saves you, uh, 10 or 15 percent whatever it is on your blue storm so if you need a life jacket or maybe you know a grandson or a friend that needs a, a new life jacket i mean 
super comfortable. I love, I love wearing that thing. If it was wavy outside right now, I'd be wearing it as I'm fishing. And especially, you know, when I'm kayak fishing and stuff like that, I'm always wearing my life jacket. And the best, the best way to support this channel is to support the, uh, the channels, the channels, the, the companies that support me. So who texted me? Who texted me? Insurance lady. Okay. Let's find us some more, some more beds. Looking like it's getting, it's getting bright once again here. But when you're catching them like this, I'm never gonna complain about the, uh, about the lighting outside. It could be stinking, changing every two seconds and I wouldn't care. Is there a fish on that one? Oh yeah, there he is, there he is. And he's gonna be a one flipper as well. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, 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 shake. Oh, no, you know what? He's he's not that big. I don't feel like, I don't feel like going for him. Oh, hello. This one's bigger though. This one's bigger. Here we go, we're falling down. We're falling down. We're sh oh, here, here we go. Oh, eat it. Eat it, you son of a gun. No? Okay. He's just a, he's a cruiser. That's a nice fish though. I'd love to catch this one. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Oh, he, he kissed it. He literally went, kissed it and left the bed. He'll eat it this time though. He'll eat it this time. Yes, he will. Shake, 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 shake. Got him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I think this is a five. Yeah, yeah. This is for sure a five pounder. Holy cow, what a big one. What a big, big, beautiful bass. Oh my gosh. This is, this is, this is one of the coolest videos I think I've probably ever filmed. I mean, I'm, I, jeez, man. I don't even know how long I've been doing this. How long has this video been, y'all? Not that long. Not that long. Oh my goodness, there's one bed there. There's two more over here. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. This might this is not a six, but it's it's a heavy, heavy fish. Oh, if you're curious about the the gear that I'm throwing, the rod, reel, bait, it's all linked in the video description. Stay down, stay down. I've got uh 15 pound, I think it's 10 or 15 uh cigar tactics braid to an eight pound gold label leader or 12 pound, I guess maybe if I'm bed fishing, I'm using 12 pound. Either way, it's super thin. And then I got the Luz uh, custom light spinning reel. This thing is awesome. I've loved it so far. Holy cow, what a big fish. Oh, what a big one. Oh, oh my goodness. Holy moly. Right in the lip right there. Boop, got him. Oh, lost my drop shot weight. I'm losing a lot of drop shot weights. Holy cow, y'all. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at that fish. That's giant. Oh, he pooped. No, you're pooping on me. He's pooping on my boat. Let's wash off your, your booty hole. Get you on the scale. I'm guessing you're going to go 5.9. Might be a 6, though. We'll see. We'll see about it. Oh, I can't even get the scale on his lip. There we go. Oh my gosh. That's a new PB. That's a 6.59. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. That's a new PB. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I want to get a better picture with my PB. Hold up, folks. I'm going to stick this fish in the live well for just one second. Beautiful. I want to get you back to your bed, girl. But that right there is a new personal best. 6.59 holy cow two sixes in one video and we're not done yet baby holy cow check take a look at my, my picture here oh man i'm out of the frame you know what sometimes pictures aren't meant to be had and that's okay this was one of those times i just want to get that fish back at least i got a screenshot here holy cow insane absolutely insane lost my drop shot weight gonna have to get a new one 
Oh my gosh, I can't, a 6.59. How's my GoPro looking? We're looking fine. Oh my gosh. Oh, I gotta get my sunglasses back on. Where'd they go? Where'd my sunnies go? There they are. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Dang, that's crazy. I'm definitely getting hot though. All right, I gotta zoom in, make sure I don't double back on any of these fish here. Cause that fish was totally right back here. <laughs> what a life. What a job. Thank y'all so much for giving me this opportunity to make videos for you guys. It does not pass me by how cool this is. So hope you can live vicariously to a certain extent through these videos. And I mean, there's really not a whole lot of teaching going on here. It's mostly just, just catching. So, oh my gosh. All right, here's, here's some more fish. Oh my goodness, so cool. Let's get a new drop shot weight. I've, I've, I've never found a truly good drop shot weight that doesn't come off. They all, to a certain extent, fling off or break off. I've not found a really good. So if y'all have any of your favorite, because I mean like this thing, I just don't feel like that thing really crimps the line that well. And even if I put it through and then tie, you know, a few overhand knots, I feel like it's still not good enough. Tying <coughs> overhand. Maybe it's just because these fish are, you know, are huge that I'm having this problem. It's possible. All right, let's slip down there to this fish. Definitely have to tighten my drag a little bit. There we go. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. And he... Oh, did not eat it. Oh, ah, dang it. Had it. Had it in his mouth. All right. Let's get you out of here. Thank you. Oh, bad flip. It's a bad flip. Oh man, this is cool. It's like, it's amazing how deceiving these fish are, like at, at their size. This fish is literally picking it up and moving it off the bed, not eating it. I'm gonna get you to eat it. I'm gonna get you to eat it. Don't you worry. This bass is doing something weird. It's, uh, it's, moving, it's moving on its side and scraping its, scraping its side. Now, he's doing some weird stuff. I don't want to mess with a fish that might be like in the spawning process or something. Because there's a fish right over here. How about it? How about it? That I flip down on and it's going to run over and eat it right now. Oh, he did, but he didn't. He didn't get the hook. Come on. Come on now. He'll eat this flip. Oh my goodness. Shake, 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 shake. And he, and he ate. Oh, wow. Holy cow, that fish is bigger than I thought it was. Whoa, that was like setting the hook into a brick wall right there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, wow, this might be another five and change. Come on now, come on now. Yeah, this is big. Holy cow. These fish are all giant. These fish are all giant. Come on. Oh. I'm never gonna not love that noise. Just the zzzz. My right arm's gonna get tired after this. There he comes. Oh, what a jump. What a jump. This fish is way bigger than he looked down there. Holy cow. Holy cow. Come on. Come on. Holy cow, way bigger than I thought. This fish is considerably bigger. Come on now. Come on now, don't go back by the engine. You don't belong there. You belong in this boat with me. You belong with me. That's a five and change, bass. Look at that thick boy. Holy cow, I gotta get. I gotta keep getting Instagram stories, man. This is just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Top of the mouth, dead center. 
I mean, I want to weigh it. You got to know what it is, you know. You got to know what it is. Just for the memories. Just for the memories. Looking like we got a 5.84. 584. We're going to be pushing 29 pounds today. That is absolutely bananas. So cool. Thank you, friend. I'll see ya. Bye-bye. Okay. So, I mean, can somebody, somebody tally up? I guess I'll be able to tally up later when I'm editing this, but I really don't know how much I have. I haven't kept track on my scale. But I mean, 6.5, was it a 6... Oh, or six two five whatever man i don't even know let's restart this clip okay here we go i just realized that i've been shooting in 4k the whole time so we're gonna get a lot of a lot of good screen grabs from this i've been shooting in 4k i've been shooting in 4k 62 i mean like i don't know why i'm shooting in 4k i guess i wanted to get one of my earlier fish catches in 4k and i just forgot oh it's bananas okay so the sun is coming out, which is awesome. That means that we can see in the water even better. We can see even farther. Like right now, like earlier I couldn't see this, but I see a bed right over there. I'm gonna drop it down from this far away. Oh, and that's another nice one, I think. I'm not sure if the sun helps or hurts the bite. I don't think it necessarily matters. I think these fish are just gonna bite regardless. If they're in the mood and there's there's so there's two bass here that are like courting one another it looks like yeah i'm gonna let these fish be there they're they're pairing up as they say gotta check my lighting again because it's getting brighter oh my gosh this is just crazy i just can't i can't i can't i can't believe this can't believe it Flip over to this fish. Have I been here before? No, I have not been here. This is all new water. All new water, which is just bananas. I keep saying the word bananas, but it's true. It's the only thing that properly describes this day so far. And who knows, this might not even get many views because it's small mouth and it's, it's bed fishing and flogging. But you know what? I'm okay with that. I am okay with that. We got another one down here I just made the first flip on and he is eating the weight. It's odd. Not eating, not eating the drop shot bait. Gonna have to bring him over. Bring the rod over here. Fish is for sure catchable though. There he is. Well, yeah, here he is. Shake, 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 shake. Let's get it in the bed. I think he'll eat then. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Got him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not a giant, but a four. No, uh, maybe not four. Maybe three and change. Oh, my gosh. Wow. <laughs> I guess. Guess he had some energy he had to get out, didn't he? Okay, okay. Wow. You are much stronger than I thought you'd be. You are a fighter. Yes, you are. Holy cow, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So cool, so cool. I just realized I've got to save this Instagram story. We're good. Okay. Come on in. You're fighting, you were fighting really hard to start, and now you're taking it easy. Taking it easy on me, huh? Huh? You just got me wet. How about that? Got him. Beautiful. Not a big one though. Unhook you and let you get back down there. Okay. See if my chesty got wet there. A little bit. A little bit of wetness. Okay, so I just caught that one. Swing back through here. So I've got I've got two sixes in this video alone. My goodness. I've only caught one six in my life until today. And then I catch two in one video, and one before the video starts. My goodness. Here's a bed right here I have not been to. Like, I don't know if I've ever had just a regular uncut 
have this many fish catches. There he is. I'm shaking. Or I'm not shaking, I'm shaking. I'm shaking my bait. Shaking my bait. Where's he at? Don't know where you are. I'd love to be able to get, you know, underwater flogger footage of, you know, every single one of these fish, but it's just not feasible. It'd be a longer uncut for sure. Oh, well, this fish is not coming back. And since we're in a, in a rush, in a hurry to get things done, there's no need to sit on that fish, especially when one's sitting right here. Especially when one's sitting right here. Man, I've noticed when this sun's up, these fish are a lot more spooky, which is wild. Like I, I was sitting on top of them anyways in the in the clouds. You wouldn't think that sun would really change that much. Come on, come on, eat it. Nah, he's not big anyways. He's not big anyway. Got some grass, got some cabbage on my drop shot. Let's clear that off. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering if, if when that sun comes out, they get a little harder to catch. They're more weary for whatever reason. Okay, we've been over here. I gotta swing this way. Area we have not been. I think that's one. Is that a bed? It is, but there's no, no fish on it. There's one on that bed. Gotta kind of back up to get rid of the sun glare. So you know what? Actually, I, I, I'm gonna be honest, I kind of enjoyed the clouds more. The sun's great, I can see the beds from farther away, but then when you get on top of them, there's like a weird glare sometimes. Not a fan of that. Makes it harder to actually see them as you're fishing. Drop it down. Yeah, we got we got we got some current. We got some current moving right here. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. Got him. <clears throat> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Dun, 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 dun. Jeez. It's funny. You can't really tell how big they are when you when you're seeing them down there. But as soon as they like turn their their side, then you can really see. Oh dang, this one, you know, this one's tall or this one's skinny. And that's the difference between a four and a six. Like this one here is probably gonna go just a hair over five because of how tall it is. Ugh, maybe not, but I would guess. He's also got a, a, he's got a sore on his back. Very interesting. Oh my gosh, they're so strong. They're such strong fish. Come on. Ooh, beautiful. I always got to bring them to the camera to show you guys. He's got a sore on his back there. Unhook him and get him back in the water. Let's see, buddy. See, so like a lot of these fish here would go, would go over four for sure. No real need to weigh a four pounder though. I guess if I did weigh my fours, I'd know how many, how many 25 pound limits I caught, which would be crazy. Dang, it's getting bright. Holy cow, I gotta really change my shutter speed here. Okay, and I am getting H-O-T in these bibs. But I don't, if I, if I vlog again, I'll get, I'll get wet knees. And I don't wanna get wet knees when I sit down and vlog, so we're just gonna keep going. And I'm stuck on my tip here. But I mean, y'all y'all have seen how many fish I've caught on this one liter and this one connection knot. So you tie a good connection knot and you get yourself some Seaguar Gold Label and man, can you catch some fish. Let me tell you. Shake, 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 shake. Shake, shake, shake. See, like this one here does not look big, but I'm not gonna judge a book by its cover here. Because it very much could be. No, it's not, it's not, it's not big. I can tell by the way he's spinning. Not worth my time. Bigs only, please. Bigs only. You're not a big, you're not a big. I can kind of get selective now. 
I mean, if you've, if you've watched to this point, you're staying most likely. Um, no, nope, that fish is not big either. But this one might be. Up here? Have I been here? Oh, no, I've been out here. Let's turn. Let's turn around. And I still have like a whole other side of the island. It's crazy. Nothing there. It's an empty one. Oh my gosh. Keep on spinning, baby. Hey, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and smash that button for me, please. That'd be real handy. And then, uh, hey, it's time for the comment challenge. So comment challenge is when I, I gauge who's still here, who's, who's engaged, you know? So comment challenge is, uh, what is your biggest drop shot bass? Since drop shotting is the, is the, the key word of the day, technique of the day, what's your biggest drop shot bass? My biggest drop shot bass, man, have I caught a, have I caught a big Texas bass on a drop shot? I don't know if I've got a big large mouth. Honestly, it might be the one I caught today. It might be a 6.5, if I'm being honest. It might be a 6.5, whatever that fish is. So yeah, comment below. Comment below, what's your biggest drop shot bass? Oh, and this looks like a nice one. This looks like a nice bass. Yeah, they're all getting real spooky. As soon as the sun poked out, they're a lot more spooky, aren't they? A lot more spooky dooky. I think I think it's a four. I don't think it's bigger. He's not very long. That's the thing. Gosh. Okay, that, that was the deal. <laughs> I had to I had to back up. Fish did not want me sitting right on top of him. Still a nice one. Not a big, not a, not a giant. But any any other time of the year, if I'm fishing anywhere else, I'd be just like in awe to catch a fish that was this, this size. If I was at Malax or whatever. I'd be, I'd be so jacked to get a small mouth. That's four pounds. <laughs> but here, in today's situation, it's just another one of the boys. Just another one of the boys. Thank you, buddy. See ya. Okay. Got that one. Keeping him moving. Like, what are we doing? If we ain't moving, I'm gonna stop this clip and restart. Crazy. Okay. Is that a fish? It's a giant bed, but it's empty. This one's not empty though. Oh, this one might be big. Yeah, I think this one's big. And if he and if he chases it, I'm gonna get the flogger for you guys so you can see what I'm seeing. It's a beautiful fish. Okay, yep, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the flogger so y'all can, y'all can enjoy some underwater footage here. I would put the actual GoPro down, but I'm afraid that it's just a little bit too deep to do that. Well, or should I? Nah, I'm gonna do, well, uh, ooh. See, that's tempting. This is really tempting to put the GoPro down. Yeah, I'm doing it, I'm putting the GoPro down. Y'all are about to see some underwater footage. How about that? I gotta get a new battery though. We're gonna do a cut to get ready for this here. Showing you all my secrets on how I get underwater footage. Put my GoPro on a, the same mount that it comes with in the box. Y'all, this fish might be a five or six. I mean, this is actually bigger than, than I thought it would be. <laughs> what a beautiful fish. Hopefully the GoPro is running. If not, you'll get a big old sad face from me after I catch it. And since this fish is catchable, I'm gonna catch him on the new Outcast Tackle Float and Fly hair jig. Oh, if I don't totally tangle everything up at one time. There we go. Catch him on the little float and fly. That's the that's the that's the, the plan. But with all my underwater footage. I've got to make sure that I get it right in front of the lens. And that's not always easy. You think it'd be super simple, but it's not. Let's flip it out there. Let her sink. And I'd love to get the bite right in front of the camera. Yeah. 
Oh dang. I missed him. I missed the bed. I really want to swim it through. Okay, here we go. Dang! That fish chased it. That fish chased it. So cool. Oh ho ho! He looked at it, but didn't eat it. So what I'm trying to do is basically just bring the, the hair jig across the screen, and I hope I've got the hope I've got the angle right. Got him. Got him. Oh my goodness. That was cool. We'll see if I have the, the GoPro running. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's a that's a five pluser. And a beautiful fish at that. And a beautiful fish. So stinking cool. I'm just in awe right now. Just in awe. Come on now. Oh, just a beautiful fish. Just a beautiful fish. Holy cow. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. Oh, eight pound Seaguar Gold label. Outcast tackle, brand new hair jig in the mouth. And y'all gotta see this. Look at that hair jig right there. In the stinking roof of the mouth. That's the biggest one I've gotten on the hair jig so far. And it just looks like a little bait fish down there. Just swimming along got him holy cow that's gonna go push in push in five and a half i guess where'd i put my scale where did i put my scale there it is i do want to weigh all my big ones just so i can total later on what i had we're looking at five point five nine five point six 5.6 pounder. Let's go. Thank you, girl. I'll see ya. Oh my gosh. Unbelievable. All right, now it's time to retrieve my GoPro. <laughs> That's the hard part. Making sure that I get right over the camera and pick it up. Let's see if we can do it. All right. Beautiful. Flogger's going down, so is the pole. Stay tuned for some more underwater footage coming soon to the channel. Let's see, am I recording or did we have a problem? GoPros. Hey, recording. I think. We'll have to see what it looks like. Let's check out that footage real quick. Oh, let's go. We got it, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Well, you know what? These fish over here, we're getting to an area that I did fish two days ago. So I don't want to get any closer that way. I'm going to zoom ourselves over this flat into the other side of this island. See if we can't find us some more. Oh my gosh. They're this shallow. Are you kidding me? Well, no. I don't, I don't even see one on there. No fish. It's crazy shallow. I mean, like, I say crazy shallow. It's really not that shallow. It's still four feet deep. But we're over kind of a shale area. Don't want to hit the motor. So I'm going to go a little bit deeper. And man, I just cannot believe it. This here is one of my favorite islands on the uh, on the whole St. Lawrence River. I just think it's got some of the biggest fish on it. And I, I think I've proven that today. All right. Let's keep on going. Keep on moving, keep this trainer rolling. Man, it looks it looks it looks so like shallow here, but it's not. We're still in four and a half feet. It's nuts. 
Okay. Have we been over here? We have not been over here. Yeah, this video in itself should be a testament about Seaguar Gold label. Like this, this leader material is just so strong. I mean, it's, it's held up to a lot of fish today. Oh, and there's one. Oh, he's small. The way he spooked, I could tell he was small. I just want to find old Tubby again. I want to find a seven. I've never caught a seven pound smallmouth. I would love to do that. That would mean a lot to me if I catch seven. So please show yourself, Mr. Seven. Mr. Seven Pounder. Although that's the interesting thing about smallmouth is that I don't know which ones are male, which ones are female. With, with largemouth, the females are always the bigger one on the bed. Largemouth, I mean smallmouth, I don't know. Do not know which is which. Here's a fish. Back it up. You're probably thinking like, Tyler, how do you just trolling motor 10 reverse and still catch a fish? Well, that's because these smallmouth are really, really protective of their beds. So it might, it might spook them off, but they'll come back pretty soon. Like this one here. He's right, he's here, he's here, he's here. Oh gosh, I had him. I had him the whole time. Holy cow. Beautiful. This one, this one, I mean, probably just a four. Oh, he's strong now. He's strong. Really, really strong. Gee. I, I, but I've been so impressed with this reel. Like this brand, this brand new lose reel for the for the cost. I think it's a one fifty or one sixty dollar reel. Oh, it's so good. It is so stinking good. All the pros are using it. Kevin, Dakota, Ebear. Kevin Van. I already said Kevin. Who else? All the pros. Mark Davis. Everybody. But especially like if Dakota and Kevin are throwing it, then it's a good one. Oh, hey. Yeah, yeah, you're big. You're big. You're big. You're big. You're big. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, got him. Not giant, actually. Just really strong. Really strong fish. Thank you, friend. See ya. You'll notice that, you know, even though bed fishing for smallmouth, you know, it does, it, it, it's, it's, I'm gonna be honest, it has to do some kind of, of damage to the fishery. Of course, this, the second they get pulled off, gobies move in, start eating the eggs. But with how fast I'm putting them back, they get right back within 30 seconds to a minute if they're bigger to uh, defending the nest. And then you just, I mean, look at the sheer number of fish I've caught on just this island. I'm not even talking about the whole, the whole area. Just this island has this many beds. And man, if, if that's the case, I don't really know how much damage can honestly be done because there's just an endless amount of fish. So what, on one, on one day, I'm the only person fishing, I, mean, I can't see anybody. The only person fishing out here and I catch, you know, 90% of the fish on here for 30 seconds a piece. That's kind of my, my thought process behind it. Is that there's just there's just so many of them, and they're just they're, they're it's it's so much fun. Like I, I do this I do this job I, I go catch fish because it's it's fun. If I wasn't having fun, I'd stop doing it. But it's it's just so much fun. So if you haven't if you haven't ever thought about coming to upstate New York, there's some awesome places to stay in Clayton. I'll give them a shout out. I stayed this week, even though I paid for it. Uh, I stayed this week at West Winds Motel and Cottages. Really, really kind people there. Awesome host. Helped me out with whatever I needed. Is there a bass on that one? Yeah, there is. Helped me out with whatever, and this one's nice. This is a nice fish, I think. Yeah, it's a thick one. A thick fish. Got him. Oh yeah, oh yeah, thick, real thick, real thick. Oh my gosh, it, it's it's the kind of the way that I see this kind of like saltwater fishing. So many biting fish, at all the time. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. What a beautiful, beautiful fish. Just look at that. Look at him swimming. Look at him swimming. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Come on now, come in here, 
Come in here. Let's go. Let's go. Oh gosh, you're strong. You're strong. Let's not do that. Okay, can't, can't, can't. I'm gonna lead you. I'm gonna lead you right here, right into my. Oh gosh. I'm not really worried about losing them, just because. Oh my gosh. Well, I gotta weigh this one. I gotta see how long this or how big this fish is. Oh, I also forgot. I'm part of the the mock June tournament, but I just totally forgot to write down the uh, the mock identifier. But I've, I've had my own personal challenge going with a few subscribers. So if y'all again, if y'all have not followed Mock Nation and all the stuff we're doing on fishing chaos with online tournaments, you should be. I would I would put this one on the board. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put this one on the board. Where's my board? Where's my bump board? Huh? Is just to get my third fish in case I don't catch another long one. Give him the old dumpy dump. Let's get my phone. That fish right there is only only 18 and change. So much for that. I'm just gonna call him a 4-4. I know that's what he is. Bye-bye. Alright, so now we got three fish to submit to the mock tournament. And if you uh like I said it, um, it's great to follow my sponsors and support what I'm doing, but also you can win tons of free mock stuff. We're, we're doing giveaways all the time. We're this uh, this tournament. They're all they're all totally free to enter. I may do some paid ones in the future um, with 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 giveaways as well in case you don't win. But uh, this tournament right now that's going on just in this week of June is uh, a seven three mock crush bait casting combo seven three heavy. The one that I throw frogs with in ponds so the winner of this challenge my the you know, biggest three fish wins that combo so it, it's worth it to download fishing chaos and play the play the challenges with us okay i feel like it's actually gotten darker outside we're okay we're okay i don't want to be overexposed let's keep it moving Keep it, keep it moving. I think I started with a bait caster, and I have since changed many times to many rods. And now I'm going with the spinning rod. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Oh, he's he's shaking. You're being a little stingy, huh? You're being like a regular bedfish. I want you to be like your friends and eat on the first try. Here he is. Oh, dang. Oh, he's getting upset now. He's getting upset now. Off the bed. Gotta make another cast. Drop it down on him. Oh, he's done for now. This fish is gonna bite. Unless he's not. He's spinning a big circle. Again, I probably just have to back off and I'd catch this fish. There he is there. Oh my goodness. He spun. He spun. Ah, he's he's spinning in circles. When they start doing that, they get hard to catch. And I don't want to waste time in this uncut. I want to catch one more magnum. And we'll call it a day. I've also got to call it a day because I've got to head down from here down to Detroit to drop off my boat for a week as I go head home to see Hannah. Let's see. There's definitely less, there's less beds on this side, for sure. As I've, as I've come around this side, there's a, there's less good sand and more just rock. So that's definitely the better side of the island over there, but I'm still confident we could find one more lunk over here. One more Lunkosaurus. One more Lunkosaurus. There's a bed, no fish in it. Let's go a little deeper here. Troll around. Yeah, and again, if y'all wanna check out this tackle, it's all linked below in the video description. One of the ways that I make money to support my family and just bought a house, so I gotta pay for that, is through affiliate revenue. So if you're gonna buy any tackle, and you're not using somebody else's affiliate and you you could click through my links down there that helps make me a living it's 
part of this whole YouTube thing. As people always ask, you know, how do you make money on YouTube? Well, you know, the YouTube ads that you see before you watch a video, merchandise sales, which by the way, I think we dropped some Infinite Outdoors summer merch, so make sure you go cop some of that if you haven't yet. Um, and then, uh, what do you call it? And then affiliate revenue. So lots of different ways that YouTubers can make money. And I hate talking about money, but I do have to, I do have to make a living. So if you're going to shop for tackle, if you're going to buy any tackle ever, I don't care if it's this, this combo, this drop shot bait or a, a Shimano. I don't care. You can buy, you can buy somebody else's sponsor product. But if you, if you want to click through my link, that'd be nice and dandy. It'd help me out a ton. It's interesting. There's almost all these beds on this side of the island are empty and those beds all had fish on them. So couldn't tell you what the deal is, why they are the way they are, but I can just tell you that's, that's, that's what they is. It's all empty, 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 empty. Let's see over here. Is this empty? Such a big dark bed. No, that's not empty. Oh, and that, that I think that's all thicken. Yeah, that's all thicky McGee. That's a big girl. That's a big girl, I think. Uh-huh, uh-huh, this is the one we end the video on. Got her, got her, got her. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, stay down. Stay down, stay down. Oh my goodness. You a big one, girl. You a big, beautiful, bodacious girl. Holy, I'm not even like looking anymore when they jump because it's just so cool. Oh my goodness. What an awesome, awesome way to end. Can't even like describe to y'all how cool this day was. Holy cow. Holy cow. Another one. Another beautiful New York bass. Just, just, I'm, I'm so grateful. So I'm so, I'm so proud of the channel that you guys have helped me build and, and you know, I don't take any of it for granted. I mean, I might as well end this video, you know, sharing that fishing is cool. Bass fishing is awesome. I love the fact that it, uh, it, crea it, it creates a, a unison for all of us who, you know, love the outdoors. But just like I've talked about with my merch line, there, are, there is infinite outdoors to explore, infinite possibilities, but... I also believe in a, uh, in a God who loves us so infinitely that he would send his one and only son to die on the cross for our sins. So if, if, if you're struggling and you're thinking, you know, I gotta, I gotta find a change in life. I gotta, I gotta make a change. Um, Jesus will meet you right where you are. And so you don't have to be perfect to come to him. I'm sure as heck not perfect. And, uh, I'm just, I'm just so grateful. So I'm not, not ashamed of my faith, not ashamed of, of who I believe in. And I'm grateful that he gives me the opportunities he does. So we're going to release this fish and say sayonara to you guys, my goodness. See if I found her, I don't even weigh it. That's a five. Well, thanks for watching everybody. Hope you enjoyed. But wait, there's more. Hey. Oops. Oh yeah, got him. That might be the biggest bass in my life. That might be the biggest small mouth in my life. Holy cow. This might be the biggest smallmouth bass I've ever hooked. I had no idea. I had no idea when I when I was fishing for it. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. Outcast tackle. Quarter ounce Ned head with a little tube on it. Holy cow. I would mean top roof of the mouth. That's a good hook in this thing right here. 6.28. That's four fish over six in one day. Holy cow. Bunch of big ones. Bunch of nice fish. Can't even can't even begin to describe how awesome this day was. Hey, if you if you want to see more uncut bass fishing, I can't promise it's gonna be this crazy, but I had I did have one awesome frog day, topwater frog, totally opposite. Not sight fishing, largemouth bass down south on a frog. I will leave that video up here. Uh it's grateful. So stinking cool. All right. See y'all next time right here on TRF.